Okay, I thought I'd made a video of this before. This is my second high voltage transformer. Uh, it's basically a laboratory style high voltage transformer for testing. So this top hood suggests that there's going to be quite a lot of corona from this. Um, and I haven't managed to get more than 20 kV out of it. Uh, you may recognize the uh, top. I use this for my top load for my Tesla coil. There was talk of it being a high frequency transformer, but if you look at the tabs here, you see the secondary connection and it definitely says 60 or 50 hertz at 230 volts. Do you see that? Yep. This is of course filled with oil and this is actually where the high voltage terminal connects to this casing. This is the oil fill plug. It's actually bolted together with these these big bolts which are made of Paxilin, I think it is, a kind of um, insulated material. See that there are four wires coming from this plate here. East. So we'll buzz these out and see what we've got. Okay, this is the uh, arrangement it buzzed out with. Basically, this is the circuit for it. We've got high voltage secondary, and we've got this low voltage primary, and both common to the tab that says earthy on it. There's a, an earth to the casing as well, and we have this coil which looks as though it's for a sensor monitoring coil. Resistances are showing as very low for some reason for these. So I've got High voltage probe, so the yellow fluke meter is on kilo, kilovolts and the AVO is giving me current on the primary. It's three, three amps at the primary, that's only 53 volt, volts or less, 52, and we've got 2.2 kV sitting here. a slight difference to the current but not a lot. Short circuit takes it only to two three and a half. So definitely looking as a high frequency coil. Okay I'm going to try one last thing. I'm going to try and, and run this one of the coils with a little inverter circuit here, we've got an oscillator circuit here which will drive, I use this normally to drive a line output um, but I'm going to run the, the coil in here and we'll see if there's any anything in the output that makes me think that it might be a high frequency coil not sure that it will be, um, everything I can find doesn't suggest it is even though it looks like it should be Okay, I've got this running just now, um, but you can see it is 31.6 volts, it's only drawing 0.2 amps, uh, and there's absolutely nothing noticeable here. So I think the, the inductance is just too large, so for all it measures quite a low number of turns, I think it's just too big an inductor for the oscillator we have. Rather annoyingly the, uh, the nuts don't all unscrew along the top the way that one did. They're actually on threaded rod from the threaded rods undoing at the other side in the, in the transformer which is not ideal. Okay, big reveal. The high voltage wire there. Right, the oil's more or less out. Um, you can actually see the construction a bit better. The uh, posts that uh, hold the thing, uh, the lid on, also hold the transformer on the base. I did wonder how that worked. You can see four connections going onto the 
and this is the HT1 coming out here. It looks like a, an iron core, quite a substantial size. Yeah, the primary windings are in these this part of the bobbin, uh, so there's no other coil further down, it's all on this side of the transformer. That's the transformer with the cover removed and the support bar, the last support bar out. There is some kind of sediment here which makes me slightly concerned of the coil. I wonder if it had been overloaded at any time, uh, which would account for why it's, it's well its behaviour of overcurrent. Um, it's hard to say, I need to do more tests. It's quite a substantial piece of ironwork. Uh, anyway, okay. Thanks for watching.